Hey everybody, it's me, it's Country Girl. Uh, I made my potatoes this morning. I showed you guys how I do those. And I told you I was gonna be making some meatloaf, which I am. So I've got everything out here. I'm gonna put this all together for you. The first thing I need to do is go over to the oven. I need to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. So I'm gonna let that get started. And we're gonna put this together. Let me tell you what I've got here. I have got one large onion finely diced. Get this out of your way. One pound of ground beef, one pound of pork sausage. It's going to be about a half a pack or sleeve of saltine crackers. I just crushed them up right in the pack, okay? Two eggs. Creole seasoning, which is my favorite. You can use any seasoning salt that you want. You don't have to even use salt if you don't want. The crackers are going to give you a little bit. So you can use plain old salt and pepper if that's what you prefer either way. But this is my favorite, so it's what I use. Some, a little bit of garlic powder. Black pepper. Worcestershire sauce. And if you watched my potatoes, you saw me do the bacon this morning, and I kept some of it for here, so that's all going to go in here, okay? So the first thing i got to do is get the meat in the bowl to mix this up. There are, like, all kinds of things that people talk about, and I've seen videos with how they use spoons or whatever. And this is how I open these rolls, by the way. Cut a slit all the way down the end. And it's the easiest way to get all of your meat out. Just roll your thumb on the end of it, and it all comes out smooth and easy. Okay. So we're going to get that in there. And we're going to get the sausage in there. This is just regular ground pork sausage. There's nothing fancy about it. If you want to change the flavor up, obviously you can use an Italian sausage or, you know, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And I'm just going to kind of break the meat up a little bit. One of the things with meatloaf is you don't want to handle it too much as far as squeezing and mixing because the more you mess with it, the tougher and denser you're going to get it, and you don't want that. So I'm just going to kind of lightly break it up a little bit. All right. Let me wipe my hands off here. And then everything else goes in the pot, as it were. So these are the crackers. And I like I said, about half of this sleeve. And I just broke it up in the sleeve with my hands. And it's not going to want to cooperate with me, but it will. You watch. There it goes. I like the crackers. I know a lot of people, and most people I see, either use breadcrumbs or bread that's been soaked in milk because they want to add the moisture. But if you cook this right, you really, to me, I, I don't have a problem. I never have a problem with moisture in my meatloaf. Just make sure that you kind of really make sure there's no big pieces of cracker in here. I'm going to throw in two eggs. The onion. And the bacon. I think I need to get a bigger bowl. Y'all hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got a bigger bowl so I can really mix this for you. I'm going to get the spices in here while my hands are clean. Again, I'm not measuring. I just kind of coat the surface a little bit and it's really is what it is for me it's just a soft coat right across the surface Worcestershire is up to you I like the flavor I give it maybe two or three dashes not too much give me a little overpowering if you don't use it right and Tony's for me because I love this spice so going to get in there with your hands and just mix it up. Make sure you get the egg in there. Make sure you get it broken up. And like I said, I mean, it's 
you try to do it as quickly as you can because really the more you mess with the meat and you start building all the tension the tissues and I mean it just it can make for a really dense meatloaf if you don't if you do it overwork it so I'm really gonna do a quick mix it in all right now I have a loaf pan that's actually a dual pan let me show you you don't necessarily have to do this in a meatloaf meatloaf doesn't have to be a loaf but this is my favorite it's just a regular loaf pan except that it's two this one, I don't know if you can see it, has got the drain holes in it. Can you see that? So that when I put it in here, all of the grease that comes off of here is going to fall to the bottom and keep it off my meat, which is going to make it healthier and less greasy. So once you have your pan, you don't need to spray it. You don't need to do anything to it. There's plenty of grease going to be in here, okay? All you do is put the meat in the pan, literally. And you want to make sure if you're going to do it in a pan that you press it down into the corners so that when you cut it, you get a really nice, straight, pretty piece. And you don't want to pack this too tight because again, we're trying to keep a moist, light, juicy meatloaf. I don't want it packed tight. You know, I want it to have a little bit of give to it. And that's really all there is to it, guys. I mean, literally, meatloaf could not be any easier. I don't know. Some people struggle with it, and I don't, I don't know why, but it's pretty simple. So I am going to let my oven finish preheating. I've got almost there. I'm going to get this in the oven. This is going to bake uncovered for about 45 minutes for this size. A couple other options. You can put this on a cookie sheet, set it up on a... On a Broiler type pan, something that'll allow the grease to drip. You don't have one. Oh, there went my timer. My oven deal is where he But if you don't have a broiler type pan, you can use foil, cover a brick baking rack or a cookie sheet or whatever, and poke some holes in the foil just to allow the grease to drain. You can do that as well. The thing is, you just don't want the meat sitting in the grease because then you just get a gloppy, goopy mess. So I'm going to get this in the oven. And then we will be back in about 45 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll be back. Hey y'all, it's been about an hour for me, maybe hour and 10. This was kind of deep, so it took a little bit longer. But uh, if you want it to cook faster, like a meat weekday meal, just make it into a shorter loaf and spread it out on a flat pan like we talked about earlier. But in this case, let me pull this out and show you what it looks like. I'm going to turn this oven off. Well, there it is. The edges are nice and crispy. You know, I tend to be a little bit of a purist when it comes to my meat. I don't like a whole lot of sauces or anything like that. I just, I want the meat. I want to taste the meat. I don't want to taste ketchup or tomatoes or gravy or any of that crazy crap. I just want to taste the meat, so I don't put mine on here. If you want to do that, by all means, go for it. You know, there, there's an endless combination here that you can use. Let me get this out of here. And let me grab a spatula so I can pull it out for you. Okay. All I'm going to do is just slap, slip the spatula under here. It should lift out with no problem. As you can see, all the grease is in the bottom of the pan. There's no grease in here. It's all dripped out. So this needs to sit for about 10 minutes or so. Uh, to set anytime you're going to cook a meat you always need to let it sit for 10-15 minutes because you want the juices to all absorb back into the meat and that's how you're going to keep your meat loaf nice and moist so I'll be back in about 10 minutes we'll slice into this baby and I'll let you know how it is see you in a little bit okay y'all it's been about 10 minutes 
I'm going to slice off a piece of this and I think you'll see that it stays really juicy, really moist. You can see the little pieces of bacon, little specks from the crackers. So let's just give this a taste, shall we? There it is, y'all. You see the steam? Oh. Some of you may look and see the little, if your camera's good enough or if mine's good enough to show it to you, the, um, the little bit of red that's in there, that's not uncooked meat, that's the bacon. So don't worry about that. Here we go. Mmm. It's tender, it's moist, the little crispy edge on top. It's really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys make sure and like my video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more because I'm going to be doing quite a bit more for you guys. But make this. It's easier than you think it is and it's really good. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.